Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to look back with Pygame. And what we've done before is we've had, well, let's just look at it. So we had text on the screen, and then an object. So alright, that's kind of weird. So let's close this and really let's start to control what's happening so all right what I want to do is let's look at centering text or an object locating it in relation to something this we're going to we're gonna we're going to locate it in relation to the size of the window so all right <clears throat> we're gonna leave those there the X and Y and also we're going to look at the thickness of the line. So last video I showed you how to draw a circle and we'll put this up right now and I left out one on purpose because we were just gonna learn how to draw it so when you don't give any input on this last um, argument it fills it in so the higher you go so if we go 20 I think that's gonna be almost yeah almost full so, alright that is the thickness of the line so one so, all right oops look at what I did and uh, quit all right, let's get this back to here. Thinnest line possible. So all right, so right here, we have an arbitrary. Uh, the the text is going at three and four hundred, three hundred and four hundred, and we have the circle at two hundred, two hundred. Those are just kind of haphazard. So let's let's do this. Now I'm going to show you this incorrectly and then because I want you to think about this it's always best to maybe get it wrong and see I'm already getting it wronger so, all right x and y and x and y so we're dividing it in half centering Okay, and I want to show you this. So boom, this can't be a float. What do we do when we use a divisor, or excuse me, when we divide? That's going to be a float because it's gonna, even though it divides evenly, it's gonna have a decimal. So what do we do to get rid of that? We do floor division. So there we go. So okay, let's rerun this. So we are going to be, whoa, so close. So very, very close. So now, I'm going to show you, so this, we know the circle is dead center because it goes center and then the radius around. So I'm gonna show you something that I've found to be best practice. You could sit and look and find out and go and look for dimensions, uh, for dots per inch depending on the font, but I like this so let me just show you so why don't we shrink this down and we center it so look at that so now and okay so so we can get a point of reference zero zero is up here so the way that I, I like to do this is I like it you could you could do it by the top by the bottom I like so let's let's shoot to get the A right here. And so you shrink it down, place it in the middle of the nice pretty little circle. That's why I like shrinking these down. This is what so you got the T sitting right there and the S right on the edge and right here in the middle of the A is sitting in the middle of the circle. And then now you can go right back out and you have your little 
start button and we, we're gonna shade this in give it some color and give it some uh, some clickability on the next video but this is very important just so you can have perspective of where where you are because then when people resize the window right we don't have that turned on yet it will it will resize the window you just don't want to have it arbitrarily set on points you want to have references you want to have it reference things because it will throw off your whole whole design so super important all right as always thanks for watching please don't forget to click that like button and the subscribe and the notification bell very important and please leave any comments questions or any video requests below and I'll get right to them you guys are doing awesome keep me on my toes and uh, really give me some really 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 good ideas so as always thanks for watching stay tuned and we'll see you next time bye guys